Just put it in the bin. All right. So now the next thing, ladies and gentlemen, is we've talked about two angles. We have the exact same triangle, but we have two angles. Yeah, just throw it in. Good. All right, so you guys are technically down in the bottom, which is the third period, but it's OK. I'll take care of it. Um, so now what we're going to be doing is, is we're going to be using the ratio of our sides, hypotenuse, adjacent, and um, opposite, to help us determine the side, uh, the length of an angle, or the side of a triangle. And once we get into some word problems, or once we get into actual problems, I'll show you. But for right now, I just want to kind of go over three ratios. Sine, cosine, and tangent. All right. Now, these three functions are what it's really important for you guys to understand is these are going to be functions of an angle. All right. And the function of an angle represents a ratio, which we talked about in unit seven. All right. So the function of one of these angles is going to represent a ratio. So let's kind of go over um, an example here. So I'm going to do two of them. I'll do it for this triangle. Um, so the sine function, the sine of B, as we write it. So the sine of angle B represents the ratio of the length of your opposite side. Actually, sine. Let me actually write it up here real quick, sorry. The sine of theta, which could be any angle. That could be B or it could be A. It doesn't matter. For any angle, the sine of your angle represents the ratio of the opposite side over your hypotenuse. Yes, we're going to get to that. The cosine represent, and a lot of times, even before you get to your calculator, though, you still need to know this to know what to plug in your calculator. The cosine represents the cosine of any angle, A, B, C, D, E, whatever angle I provide to you. So that's why we use theta as our Greek symbol to represent any angle. The cosine of your angle represents the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And the tangent of your angle, theta, represents the opposite over the adjacent. Is it really hot in here? Yes. All right. Um, so let's go and get through an example here. It's all right. It'll go back down. It's turning. So now let's go and take a look at, well, how would I find, without just leathers, because we'll get into a problem with, with, uh, we'll get into a problem with uh, numbers here in a second. But let's go ahead and see if we can find the sine of angle B. All right, so Kiana, the sine of angle, the sine of any angle represents the what ratio? The sine of any angle represents the ratio of what? It's written on the board, should be in your notes. What does the sine of an angle represent? What ratio? Opposite over hypotenuse. Now, let's look at angle B. For angle B, what is my opposite side? Taylor. Thank you. What is the opposite side for you paying attention? Opposite side of B? Yeah, of angle B. Side B. It's side B. It's labeled right there, right? So we can easily just kind of quickly get over this. So it's side B over the hypotenuse, which is C. So the sine of angle B is the ratio of B over C. I'll finish off the rest of these. Cosine of B is your adjacent side, which is a over C. And the tangent of B is your opposite over your adjacent, which is B over A. OK? So now let's do sine of A, cosine of A, and tangent of A. So why don't you guys spend two seconds and see if you can figure those out on your own. Dun 
It's okay, just give it a shot. We'll go over it. You might have gone over this in Algebra 2. Well, you haven't taken Algebra. You took Algebra 2? You're in Algebra 2. Yeah. You got an answer? You want to go to the bathroom? Okay. Let's just wait to check this, and then you can go. Hmm. Interesting why Layla hasn't written any of this down so far. Hmm. Interesting. What do you know? Hmm. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just have to keep on I'll keep on holding that test in K. Then I'll maybe once she sees the stuff, maybe then I'll print out. Okay, we got it. Anybody got an answer? Tyler, you want to give me an answer for sine of A? Sine of A represents what? The ratio of what? Well, what is the ratio of sine? Over hypotenuse, right? So let's go over to angle A. What is the opposite side? What is the hypotenuse? That wasn't so bad, was it? Uh, all right, David, why don't you do it? Cosine. What is the cosine of A? Stop. What does the cosine function represent what ratio? Good. So for angle A, what is my adjacent side? What letter? Good. What's my hypotenuse? There you go. Done. John, you want to do tangent? What's tangent? What's the ratio of tangent? A over B. There you go. Do you guys see how those are very similar, but they are not the same? The reason why those are not the same is because it all depends on where your angle is for what is going to be your adjacent and what is going to be your opposite. The biggest